What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, New Jersey Finest, with another video. So, I wanted to find out from everybody who tried to purchase or rather pre order the Xbox Series X, what your experience was like. I was able to get one. Um, I'll tell you my story real briefly on the 22nd, which the day it pre ordered. I'm um, on the East Coast, so it was uh, supposed to come, the pre orders were at 11 o'clock. What I did was I called two days prior. I called the day before. I called uh, Monday and Tuesday. I spoke to a rep from, uh, excuse me, I spoke to a rep from uh, the Microsoft store. Usually what I would do is I would pre-order them on the Xbox console. You go to the dashboard. When you see the pre-order thing come up, pop it, one, two, three, you are done. Uh, the representative told me on Monday that they were experiencing issues. They're setting up. So it might not be a good idea to try that. I could if I want to. So then I asked if I can call. And I was told absolutely you could call and do your pre-order over the phone with the Microsoft store. So um, I gave the heads up to a couple of my friends, let them know what was up. So come uh, Tuesday morning, I was at work, which is where I'm at now. Tuesday morning at 10.57 a.m., I called the Microsoft store. Got the automated message, which you usually get. And then right after that, I press one to do pre-orders. I uh, will say within less than a minute after the phone rang, I got a representative on the phone, informed her I wanted to pre-order the Xbox One Series X. She said, we just have to wait till 11. So she said, we're just gonna stay on the phone for two minutes. Two minutes came, all my information was already in the system from my Xbox. So all I had to do was confirm who I was, choose if I wanted to use my Microsoft points, which I had a few hundred dollars I chose not to I said I'll just keep those for the games and just put it on my credit card because in case you didn't know you don't have to pay it fully if you did this option I know some I believe some sites did it some didn't I know for the PlayStation I was told PS5 you had to pay it outright which I had the funds for but I just wasn't going to do it plus I couldn't get one because pretty sure everybody knows how crazy it was the way they did it. it was supposed to pre-order Thursday they did it Wednesday night and it was done so it is what it is I'd rather have my Xbox anyway so um like I was saying once some I verified everything I got to choose which credit card they put on that credit card they said right before it launches that's when they're going to take the money I'm fine and that was it I had a co-worker do the same thing the same co-worker from I was mentioning was able to do the same thing pre-order got the uh confirmation uh in the mail saying um, the total is going to be 533.11 is what you're going to be charged and that was it uh, had a few other friends who opted to go the route of trying the dashboard which I guess they didn't have success with then they tried to do the GameStop the uh, Walmart Best Buy and it didn't work so um, they called me asked me how I did it again I gave them the info uh, by the time he got to a live representative on Xbox, on Microsoft, Microsoft, excuse me, MicrosoftStore.com, it was too late. It was sold out. Uh, unfortunately, you know, with people using this bot system crap, they did scoop up a lot. And I didn't even waste my time because I was only going to get annoyed at going on eBay to see how much these idiots were putting their systems up there for. I mean... My heart goes out to everybody that tried to get one for launch and can't, but yet these morons can put them up on, um, you know, eBay and want to get double the money for them. I wish eBay would implement something where somebody could take charge and see this and just block them, remove them from the site, not be able to sell it. You know, I did this with uh, the Xbox One. I had about three Xbox Ones, two PlayStation 4s, and I sold them for the retail because I knew there were friends of mine that may have a hard time getting them, and I wasn't trying to make any additional money off of them. So I gave it to them at, you know, retail value. That was just me. Um, but these people wanting 1000 1500 for a system that was $533.11, if you want to be technical plus tax at least here on the east that's how much it was with tax or whatever but you're charging all this money it's ridiculous man especially with being a pandemic still 
and you're trying to rake people's pockets like this, it's a special place for you. And I hope that eBay takes ownership of something to some degree and say, you know what, no, and just shut the site down, shut the page down. No, you can't sell it. Not this time, no. We're not going to let you take people's hard-earned cash or whatever the case is. Likely they won't do it, but if anybody from eBay sees this message or you know somebody, you know, give them a heads up. Tell them to look at what these people are doing to try to sell these consoles on on your on your uh on your website and do something cuz it's 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 outlandish. But um I just want to know everybody's experience if you was able to get it if not there's supposed to be more going up i know it's supposed to be more playstations going up because they do have two release dates the 12th and the 19th so if i could find one at least on my birthday the 19th that'd be cool um if not i'll just have to wait till maybe after the holidays but as long as i got my xbox i'm gucci so um everybody out there have a great day please be safe practice your social distancing and all that good stuff and just leave me a response let me know what it is if you got it Yay, if you got an X or S, or even if you got was able to get a PlayStation 5. I was trying to get a digital because I don't buy this no more, but just let me know what it is. All right, everybody have a good day. Be safe. One love.